talking with Coach Jeff Logan after a, an exhausting game, but man, you you couldn't be more uh, uh, more pleased with how this came out, Coach. I think you know it's one of those games we talked beforehand. We we said this, this is not going to be a three nothing game. It's going to go back and forth. It played out like it is, and you guys came up with some tremendous big plays at the right times. Yeah, we did. You know, we talked all week. We said as an offense, we're entering four-down territory the second we get the ball. We knew that it was going to be a dogfight. We knew that Rocco was going to make the plays he makes, throwing it to Xavier, throwing it to Parker, doing what he does running the football. We even kind of jokingly said, God, if we look down the sideline and, and Mookie, our defensive coordinator, he kind of gives me the look, we might just start kicking it onside every time in the second half. I mean, those were legitimate conversations we were having if things weren't going the way we thought that we would be able to do things on defense. And so big kudos to our defense is that they started to figure things out. That things started to, I don't say start to slow down for them because I don't think anything playing in a top four game in the state slows down for you. But they made plays at the end of the day, so we didn't have to do that. And That's so we were able to be extremely aggressive calling to, offense. To me, I don't know what you guys talked about. I don't know if you said it, but to me, looking at this, I go, it seems to me the halftime conversation, which you got an extra five minutes because it was homecoming, Mm -hmm. uh, was if they're going to beat us, they're going to do it not because of number one five. Yeah, and and you, you, again, he did get outside on you. That sixty-two yard run, uh, that shows you in a heartbeat that you you can't yeah. give up on that. But you guys started bringing pressure, some blitz pressure, mm-hmm. which I actually thought Curtis should have been doing against you guys to try yeah. and stuff uh, the middle as well. But you guys brought that pressure, and they had trouble with that. Yeah, we we knew. I told uh, John Manley with the News Tribune this after the game. I said. We went into the game plan or to the game with two game plans. Ten years ago, when Coach Curley was here and we were playing Gig Harbor with Davis Alexander, they had so many good athletes they could throw the ball, and Davis was hard to keep in the pocket. We said we're going to just bring pressure, play cover zero, and if you beat us throwing the football down the field, then you beat us. We can live with that. We're not going to let you run and beat us that way. So we had between that plan, our base defense, and then just playing kind of like a deep area, just kind of almost like a prevent. And so we had a lot of things, and again, there was a lot of conversations amongst the staff. What is our best bet? What are we the safest in? What can we create some havoc and try to create a negative play and put them behind the sticks? And so, um, and I know you talk about bringing that pressure. You know, that was also part of the conversation we had as an offensive staff is, hey, they're not bringing a lot right now. Let's stay in our 11 personnel, our one back stuff, run the football, and then the second we start to feel we're getting a little bit of that, we can take the top back off and it just worked that we didn't have to do that. And, you know, our kids executed really, really well. Uh, a couple of things real quick. Ulele, by the way, we had, I think, for 20 rushes or something like that, 100 and probably 30 yards mm-hmm. or something. But the yardage he was getting and creating those second and threes, third and ones and things like that, that's just huge for, for Davion and the rest of you guys. It really opens up your playbook. For sure. Yeah, and, and again, I go back to the way that we had approached our game plan. We talked about four down territory. So, um, you know, and I, I don't sit here like I'm some wizard. You know, I saw it from uh, Kellen Moore talking about calling offense for the Chargers, right? And so he's talking about when they get in the green zone, they go four downs, right? They First down's a free down. Second down becomes first. Third down becomes second. You got to get half. And then your fourth down is your third down, right, before you have to punt so or turn the ball over. And we, we really kind of took that mantra and ran with that. We said, we're, you know, it's hard to lose a football game if you score every time you got it. And that was what we went in with a philosophy. You know what my favorite play was of the, of the game, right? Was it the Hail Mary? Oh, no, <laughs> not at all. Come on, I'm a defensive lineman. The oh, big guy, yeah, Anthony, yeah. coming up. I did talk with him. He said he actually heard you guys on the sideline yelling scream. And, and I go, I thought that that might have mm-hmm. been a called play. Yeah. Uh, but he said he heard you, and he did that on his own. Is that right? Yeah, there were some things that we thought we had a pretty good tell on watching film. And, and, and a lot of it was kind of where Parker, number three, was lined up. And if he was, you know, the slot guy in a three-by-one with a wing back. And so we kind of had an idea idea of what they like to do and if you know a lot of the time it's me and my brother Greg who's our offensive uh, pass game guy it, it's a good thing to do if we'd call a screen you know hey we start yelling watch screen to be a good time for it you know and so um, made a great play and reacted and again a, another step up play from our defense not so, only you see. know got in position he caught it yeah. <laughs> no, I, for a second well, you know Levi scored one earlier and yeah. I think Anthony got down to about the nine yard line week one against Rogers so um, I think he had a little longer to go this one I yeah think he was yeah gonna get there. he probably um, was gonna get hawked down no there. bigger one than uh, tonight though yeah, uh, yeah. on top of it and talk about that uh Caden coming in for two plays <laughs> uh and and going and and when you got to the 25 yard line and uh your guy filming up next to us um I asked him I said 
I go, uh, how, I know, you know, Skullrood hit a 34 yarder last mm-hmm. week against Sumner. I'm going, you know, four seconds, it's 42 yards. Uh, give him a shot at kick. I, yeah. I said, I'd send him in to kick it, yeah. and you guys throw the Hail Mary and make that pay off, make me look like a, a complete <laughs> idiot. Well, and then your guy says, I think that's the only field goal he's, he's even tried this year. And I go, okay, yeah. so maybe it is. Th- that's and not. That's, but our, We were split 50-50 as a staff. I look back there and I go, what do you guys want to do? Because it was about a 43-yarder. Yeah. And we hadn't kicked many of those in practice. And so the one thing that I will say that I went back to, and at the ultimate end of the day we made a decision, if we're trying to kick a low liner to kick a 43-yarder and it gets blocked, we don't have any fast guys out there, and we're playing catch-up trying to pick it up. So we said, at least if we throw it into the end zone, whether it gets picked, knocked down, or we catch it, that's a lot harder for them to take that to the crib the other way than blocking a field goal, picking it up, and we'd really be kicking ourselves instead of going in tied or up seven, down seven at half. And so yeah, that was really yeah. the ultimate, uh, I say, factor in our decision as to why we threw the Hail Mary. Well, so, hey, it was the right one. Yeah. All right, and again, you know, work is not done. Davian uh, banged up, but came back, looked great in the second uh, half. Mm-hmm. Everyone else uh, come out pretty yeah, good? Yeah, good. It, well, I talked to our athletic trainer after every game. He says pretty clean, so, you know, it's football in a physical game, and two and two of the top four teams in the state, so I'm sure some of them are going to be a little sore and banged up, but uh, we'll get we'll get things figured out. We'll get rolling for a short week next week. Keep uh, rolling, and then, uh, you know, uh, the ER game looms uh, big. That, uh, I mean, uh, this is the fun part about high school. It may not be as fun for you. It's fun for us to watch yeah, these yeah. Uh, huge matchups come together. Yeah, it, it'll be exciting. Our league is very, very good from top to bottom, and from what I hear, it's only going to get deeper next year, so it'll be fun. <laughs> I'm hearing it'll some be things, fun. too. You know, it's, it's kind of the whole iron, ar- iron sharpens iron mantra and yep. know, get better every single week. All right, congratulations, Coach. Thank you, appreciate it.